Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Thank you so, so, so much for stopping by to watch me. This is Daisy right here in the building. Thank you. I'm super happy to be here doing this again and again and again. No matter the situation, I would always speak and I will always give. Okay, why I say this is because I am just recovering from a terrible, terrible sickness. But we move. I am not giving up. My head is still working. My mouth is still working and my heart is always ready to give and that no matter the situation, nothing will bring me down. Anyway, let's move on in the light of, still in the light of applying into the universities in Brazil to study as an international student. Why I say still in the light is because we've been talking back and forth, you know, on my channel about how to study in Brazil. And uh, so this is just like the continuation of what I've got to offer on my channel regarding studying in Brazil. For those of you that do not know, uh, if you're coming across my video for the first time, it is absolutely free to study in Brazil for international students, like absolutely free application fee, free and no school fees to be paid. You can even be lucky you get scholarship either by a scholarship buddy or directly from the school. So moving on today, I have right here a course you can apply into on the phd level and also master's level and the course is you know phd or master's in healthcare science so if you are you know into this field the healthcare science field or any other related uh you know health course or you know health degree you are eligible to apply for this course both on the phd level and also the master's level you can either apply for the professional masters or the academic masters and vice versa for the phd all right. If you choose to apply for the professional masters, it means you might not, you will not go for a research project. Okay. You will not do a research. You are probably just targeting to use it to teach or to work or something of that nature. But if you choose academic masters, it means that you will definitely embark on a research journey. All right. That's just the difference. All right. So on the professional level, academic level, you can apply. So if you are interested in, um, if you have a degree, of course, you have to have a, a degree, undergraduate degree in any of the healthcare, any of the healthcare um, areas. OK, you can if you're a nurse, if you're a doctor, if you're whatever you have studied before, anything in, in the healthcare area, you can actually apply for this because it's called the PhD and Master's in Healthcare Science. So anyone that has any related course. You can be a nurse, you can be any related, any healthcare related course can actually go for this course. Okay, so now moving on to how you can apply, I'm going to be putting the link to which you can apply in my description box. All right, in my description box, when you click on it, it will take you directly to where you will find the course because I have, you know, I just copied the exact page you will be finding the course so you don't go everywhere looking for what and what and getting confused because a lot of people can say it's so difficult to apply it, i don't understand what is difficult but i would not compare myself to the other people so what is confusing them <clears throat> excuse me i might not know so that is why i have taken time to you know i will paste the exact page where you will find the you know the courses listed there you choose what you're actually looking for and then apply now why you want to apply when you you know to, to to apply you have to read right you have to read through the notification notice it is very important you read to know what they expect of you if you're applying for masters if you're applying for phd remember that you are required to write a pre-project all right a pre-project is like a plan of what you're going to be doing at the end of your course for your project research all right so they tell you already the specifications what they want how they want you to do it it is written in the notification guideline when you you know when you get to the course you will see where it tells you either the, the you can find it in different schools they say announcement or edit, editor or uh notification guideline you will see make sure the first thing you need to do as soon as you get there although the one i will be the link i will be putting would already translate into english but for every other subsequent school you click on make sure to always translate in english so you know what is going on so as soon as you click on announcement or notification uh guideline whatever different schools might have different names different things they, uh, different names they have for it but it means that click on this to read more about the course so when you click on it, it's just right there in the same course line. When you see the course, you see just right beside it where you have to get the information all about the course. Okay, so when you click on it, the first thing you need to do, it will let you have access to download the notification guideline. Okay, it can either be say a called announcement, it can be an editor or notification guideline. All right, it comes in those form in case you see them so you can identify them. So the first thing you need to do when you click on, the, on, on it, it shows you, it gives you the possibility of saving the document. 
when you save the document, the next thing for you to do is to translate that document into English. All right. When it's saved in your computer, laptop, or your phone, make sure you use Google Doc to translate that guideline into English so you have a proper understanding of what is required of you. As soon as you translate it, you will be able to understand step by step what is asked of you to do. Remember, I said I talked about you will be able to um, you would definitely write a pre-project, a lot of school. If you're writing, if you choose the professional masters, you will not necessarily write a pre-project because you are not you're not embarking on a research journey. So they might not give you a pre-project to write. But if you're choosing the academic masters or PhD, you will definitely have a pre-project to prepare as part of the requirement. All right. So as soon as that is done, I, there's one thing I want to say while you're applying, as soon as you've done every, and they would always require your, your transcript, the major, major things, your photo, transcript, undergraduate certificate itself, transcript is different. All right. The transcript is the result that comes out from what you study. And the certificate is the certificate of award, the, what they awarded you. Like, okay, take, this is what you, you know, you've done in school. The award itself, the certificate itself, that's the award. And then the transcript itself is the, is, is the, result you know the grades that you acquired while studying that course all right so they would require your certificate they would require a transcript photo pre-project if it's academic masters and uh, uh what else again um you know not, nothing so much these are the main things they usually request for those these things i just mentioned all right so um what else do i need to say so while filling your form i want you to understand sometimes they might require that there are certain forms that they will attach to the notification notification guideline for you to fill sometimes some schools don't do that you don't need to fill any form and if you fill those forms you need to attach them also in the required spaces in the school's application form portal they will provide the link to which you would download all your documents before you submit, all right? So there's one thing I wanna mention during your application, when, wherever you find a place where they say, um, a place where they say uh, uh, quota, there's always a quota for, 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 you know, for people, the, 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 the disabled, the trans people, the trans community, the colloquial, there's something they call them, I can't remember, and the black and brown, okay, quota. They, they, there's the quote in Brazil, there's something they call quotas. So the, Quota for people who are disabled, quota for people who are trans, quota for people who are even refugees. So different schools have quota that they want, to, they choose to give to people. So if you see in that situation, remember to always choose black and brown quota because you fall in that quota. And it is admission is easier for you that way because it's already a quota given to them. So as long as you write your pre-project to satisfaction, you provide the other documents required, it is easier for you to be selected because you are under a quota. But if you do not choose any quota, you will be competing with a wild population. Do you understand? And that is more competitive. That is more, more, um, that is more competitive. And that is likely, that, that might like, that might likely mean that you might, you might either be selected easily. It's, in fact, it is usually more difficult to get selected in the general uh, competitive uh, population. So remember to always choose black and brown as the quota that you will fall into. So admission is easy for you to get anyway i think that is it for me today and remember most of the schools always require people always try, ah, I, I need schools i want to study in english i want to study i don't understand they would require your pre-project to be either in english spanish or portuguese even in some cases german and italian i've seen it so do not worry so much about whether or not you can study in english a lot of schools these days in brazil are accepting people to come study in english so do not bother yourself about that anyway let me know if you have questions for me in the comment section below this degree is master's in healthcare science, PhD as well. And all right, so take advantage of this opportunity, apply, and I wish you all the best. Thank you again. Have an amazing day, everybody. Bye-bye.